Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a free business email account with your custom domain from cPanel. So for this, first we have to log in to cPanel and it is very easy to do so. All you have to do is enter your domain name and add cPanel and hit enter. So you will see this option. Now you can select this option and it will redirect you to the login page. And you can also do the same thing by adding just colon and 2083 or you can follow the instructions emailed to you by your hosting provider. It will contain the login URL along with username and password. Now let's close this. I have already logged into my cPanel account. It looks like this. Now the interface may be a little different for you because it depends on the hosting provider what theme they are using. For example, my hosting provider is using the Jupyter theme, but all the steps I'm going to show you and all the options will remain same on all cPanel accounts. Only the interface design may look a little different. Now you have to scroll down until you find this email section, or you can also use the control F and search for email. Okay, so it will be automatically highlighted. Now to create your email account, click on this option, email accounts. And on this page also you can see, currently I'm allowed to create 30 email IDs and I have not used uh, even zero and I'm allowed to use 30. So let's create our first email account. For that, click on create and here enter your username. For example, you want to create an email for your support team. So I will select support and the domain name will be auto filled. If you have multiple domains connected to your cPanel account, then you will have a drop down option and you can select the correct domain for which you want to create the email ID. Now generate a password. You can select the difficulty level of password by selecting, let's say I want to make it 15 characters length, then regenerate it. Okay. Now copy and save this password. Click on this optional settings. And here you can see there's the 250 MB space is allowed for this account. So if you want, you can also increase it. Play, let's say I want to increase it to 1 GB or you can set it to unlimited and, and then click on create. You can see the message here that our email account has been created and it is really easy to do so. Now we can also directly check the email. Click here to check our inbox. Click on this option open. And you can see we have been automatically redirected to the email inbox. For this tutorial, I will turn on the light mode and you can see there is already one email in our inbox. Let's open it and you will see these are the configuration settings. So if you want to connect it to your third party clients like Outlook or you want to connect it to your mobile app, then you will need the settings. I have already created videos about it and I will put them in description so you can learn how to connect these email accounts to your mobile apps and desktop apps and you will see all the information all the ports required and the, then you will have to just use the password now let's send a test email and see if our email is working and if we can send and receive emails so for that you have to click here compose and write the two email address now if you want to attach some something then you have this attach option you can also attach a file from here and you can see the limit. You can also turn on these option return received delivery status notification. Uh, and if you want to enable the formatting thing, then you can uh, do that. You can also change the priority here. So if you want to send it immediately, then you can change it to highest, though it will not make a huge difference. Normally you don't have to do any of these. You just have to write your email like you do with any other email provider and then click on send. So you can see the message has been sent and uh, you can see it in the send folder. Now let's check my Gmail and see if I have received it. Okay, so I have tested, I had some issues with the email deliverability, but I will show you. Here is the email that I sent, it was about 20 minutes ago. And you can see everything, it has passed all the verifications by Google and it has also been marked as important. And I have replied to it. After replying to it, you can see I have received the email from uh, the reply. 
so yes so i can send emails and also receive emails to this email id now i will show you some settings and after that i will also show you how you can troubleshoot in case you are not able to send or receive emails and what are the alternatives available let's go to settings here from here you can change the interface things like that from here go to identities and select your email id now from here you can set the display name so that when you send an email this is the display name they will see that they have received this from this so for this i will rename it to support team okay support team uh, you can also write your company name here and things like that or you can just write support team as a you like you can also put your organization name here and then you can put a reply to email address only if you want it to go to some other email like this is a no reply address uh, otherwise leave it blank you can also make it a you can leave this two option blank if you don't want and here you can put your signature like regards your name okay and then you can um, i will remove this company name from we have already mentioned it here then click on save okay it has been saved now whenever you send emails the receiver will see this display name okay now if you uh, compose a new email you can see the signature has already been added and uh, now let's move on to the troubleshooting part for that you have to go to cpanel and from here this is the cpanel email accounts settings from here you can also manage your email id by clicking here from here you can change the email password you can change the storage space you can also restrict email if you want to suspend it for some unknown reason let's say if you wanted you created it for a team member and uh, now you do not want to give them access then you can uh, suspend their login and you can also uh, disable this email id without deleting it okay and from here if you want you can also delete this email id if for some reason it is not working you can delete this email and you can also get the connect device and all that instructions from here now let's go to the main cpanel account here and if you want to check the troubleshoot then for this you have to make sure that uh, from here you can check this track delivery option and here you would be just click here show all and from here you would be able to see all the messages that were accepted or if they were rejected like this and a possible reason for this then you can google about it and troubleshoot why your email is not working most common reason for this is not working is if you're using some other dns settings if you're using some custom dns settings instead of the name servers provided by a hosting company then your email is not all the dns required are not configured and your email will go to spam or it will get rejected sometimes i have noticed is that this spam filter is very aggressive the name cheap jellyfish spam filter it will if you send a generic email like test email it will not send it it will mark it as spam and uh, it will restrict it so i was having a little problem with that and uh, if you send a normal email then it should go and uh, if you still continue to face it then i will show you that then i will tell you the alternative also and just there is another thing let's go to the main page here and from here you can check the email deliverability so make sure that here the status should show as valid if there is an issue it will show here in yellow then you should be able to press this repair button right now you can see there is no issue so this button is disabled and if you're using some custom dns then also this button will be disabled so we'll have to contact support or use the default name servers and let's again go back to cpanel here and then click on this option jellyfish spam protection now select this domain click on manage Here, go to logs now you can see all the messages were rejected or accepted from here and with the reason for example this email it was rejected 
um, for unknown reasons because I was able to send emails but I was I'm not able to receive email to this ID similarly these emails were delivered and uh, some of these emails were rejected for unknown reasons you can see here so overall in my opinion I think you should use a dedicated email solution if you want your emails to reach user inbox and you want to ensure the reliability because in 2024 I don't think using cPanel emails is a very reliable option unless you do not unless you do not have any other alternatives so I'm personally using Zoho you can use this Zoho service completely for free for five different email IDs I have a detailed video about it you can check that out otherwise if you want to go for some other cheap option there are multiple options first is again Zoho for paid cheap option it's really very good service uh, it's really cheap otherwise you can also use other third-party email providers like Namecheap, GoDaddy, they are very cheap it works most of the time and if you want to go for a premium or if you are really serious about your business then you should go for Google Workspace or Microsoft email they are a little costly but you will also get uh, access to all the applications like Microsoft Word and all the other softwares you will also get cloud storage with that and a lot of team features so that's really the best premium product for emails and it's only for serious businesses so i hope you found this tutorial useful and i would really suggest you to check the zoho email tutorial and i am sure you will like it thank you for watching this video if you have any questions or feedback please post them in the comment section and i will see you next time